Welcome to the W Sentinel S Series Live. I'm your host, Paul Shin, Senior Product Line Manager for WD. And today we're actually calling, uh, we're actually covering the X Series, the DX4000 and the RX4100, because we're going to want to manage those with the S Series, doing things like distributed file sharing replication or DFS. And so today I'm going to show you how to enable those products for DFS. DFSR, and also uh, we might, might as well show you how to uh, enable NFS. What we're showing here is the desktop of a DX4000. We've remoted in and uh, you're looking at the R2 dashboard that comes with the Windows Store Server 2008. We've launched from the lower left hand side, Server Manager. Uh, you can click on the icon that's there. If it's not shown, you can do Run and uh, Start and then under the Run tab type in server manager. Server manager takes a few minutes to collect information and once the information is loaded you can see that um, a role of file services has been installed but not uh, all the services have been turned on. By default the WSentinel DX4000 comes only with uh, some of the basic file services uh, installed so when we click on file services the MMC management module will get loaded in. It'll take a few seconds for the uh, file server management console to load. Just as a reminder, my unit already has those services installed. I just want to show you where you can go to add those services on your DX4000 or RX4100. Once the management console loads, you can see all the uh, file services that have been installed on the machine. Uh, again, as a reminder, I've already installed DFS uh, and DFS replication as well as NFS. And you can see here, uh, it, it immediately tells you that those things are installed and, uh, and running. You can interface to these obviously using, you know, Unix client will, will interface to the NFS. And then if you have a DFS uh, uh, server manager, you can uh, start to create uh, new namespaces as well as uh, a replication, replicated uh, uh, shares. To add a service, click on the Add Roles button, and then when you get to the menu, start to check mark the items that you want installed. It's wizard driven, very easy. Uh, just go ahead and click on OK, and then the uh, server will go and install the services in the background. And once ready, you're able to uh, start to do things like DFSR replication and uh, discover your file services on Unix using NFS. Let's take a look at replication in action. I created a main office and two branch offices using a DS5100 as a primary server, a DS6100, and a DX4000. In the foreground, the DX4000, we're going to create a file and you can see that because we bound the, fo uh, the three folders together that the item gets replicated across all three servers. Now I created this uh, replication share using my primary server server manager and running a DFS management tool. Uh, there are a lot of resources online under DFSR, Windows Server 2012. And if you have any questions, email us at smbpresales at wdc.com. This replication and many other features make the DX4000 and the RX4100 a great Windows, NAS, and SAN product for remote and branch offices. To learn more on YouTube, type in WD Sentinel S-Series playlist and view all the videos that we've created.